Hey guys, today I'm doing mini potatoes. These little beautiful potatoes, red and white. They're the little tiny, teeny ones. And I'll be canning that. So this is what you're going to need. You're going to need something to protect your hands with, something to protect your tables with. You're going to need your paper towel or a warm um, cloth. You're going to need some salt, some stir sticks, a funnel, a jar lifter, a lid lifter, a spatula, a spoon of some sort, and that's about it. Sitting in the oven keeping warm. You don't have to sterilize your jars if you're pressure canning, but it's something that I like to do. So they're going to sit in here until I need them. Boiling the water for a little bit now, so that's going to be ready to go into the jars pretty soon. Pressure can is getting warm, and I'm just going to pour a little bit of vinegar in there to help with hard water. Lids and rings are steeping in hot water and ready to go. All I'm going to do with these potatoes to prep them is give them a light scrub. It gives me a chance to go through them, make sure that they're all okay, and any ones that aren't, I just take out. They're pretty clean, and there's not a lot to do. I only have about 20 pounds, so this will go by really quick. The potatoes are scrubbed. They look really good. They're kind of tiny. They're really, really tiny. I love that. These ones I set aside because they're twice the size. So I'm just going to put them aside. I might use them. I may just fry them up tonight. Don't really know, but I'll put them aside for the moment. I have my hot jar, I have my funnel. I'm gonna put some potatoes in. And they always tend to get stuck on me the first ones. There you go. And the reason why I'm wearing a glove is because I have a nasty cut on my finger. So it's best to wear a glove when you when you're doing things like this. Okay. I'm gonna put my salt in. One teaspoon of salt. I'm going to put my hot water in to about one inch headspace. And I'm going to debubble. The best thing that I have to debubble potatoes is these stir sticks. They're so thin and they're so tiny and they get all the way down and into the center with no problems at all with bulky things like potatoes. So I can probably fit in maybe two little more potatoes in there. We'll see where that gets us. Probably one more. And that seems good. Now that's a little bit too much water for me and if you get to that situation where there's just a tiny little bit too much water that's more like half an inch than an inch. Just go in and remove some of it. As long as it's non-metallic, you'll be fine. Then you're going to get your vinegar and your paper towel or a hot cloth and make sure it's all nice and dry. Then you're going to get your hot lid. and a hot ring. These ones I've been letting cool down just slightly. Finger firm. And I'm going to put that in the canner to stay warm. I'll do one more. I have my hot jar. I have my funnel. I'm going to get my potatoes. This goes so quick. It sure does beat peeling potatoes. There we go. I could probably fit in maybe two more at this point anyway I'm going to get my salt, one teaspoon I'm going to get my hot water to one inch and I'm going to debubble there we go, all the way to the bottom all the way around and down the center. You really want to make sure that there's no air pockets in here. Very important. There we go. Now I'm going to get some vinegar and paper towel. Make sure that your rim is nice and clean and dry. Gonna get my hot lid 
in my ring. Finger firm. And it's gonna go in the canner to stay warm. I'm gonna put this lid on, lock it down, and wait for it to come up to a full steady stream. The button's now come up and it's a full stream. So I'm gonna time it for 10 minutes. This is up, so I'm gonna put my weight on. And once that comes up and starts to bounce, I'm gonna time it for 40 minutes. The 40 minutes was up. I took it right off the burner. I let it come down in pressure. This button lets me know that it's safe to take my weight off. And I'm just gonna let it sit there for five minutes. Okay, I'm gonna open this up. Always make sure that you open it away from you. It's extremely hot in there. And I usually just let it sit like that for about five minutes and then I'll remove the lid. Canner. I'm going to leave them on my counter for 24 hours without touching them or moving them and then we'll see what we have tomorrow. All I do when I wash my jars, get some soap on a cloth, make sure everything's off there, give it a good rinse, and that's it. So here's my 20 pounds of potatoes. I ended up with 11 quarts and 13 pints. They turned out absolutely beautiful. The the jars come out so beautifully clear when you do it this way with the mini potatoes. I do have a video on preparing the regular potatoes and canning regular potatoes and I'll leave a link in the show more box because that's a whole other method. But these turned out great. They're always nice to have on hand and they're going to taste great in the winter. Till next time, hey dough.